What's up everybody? Welcome back to Golf Simulator videos on YouTube. Today I'm going to take you through a FlightScope Mevo Plus AVR firmware update. That is Alpha Victor Romeo firmware update. So there's been a little confusion out there. Some people thought that there may be a DSP, uh, which is Delta Sierra Papa firmware. I'm just using uh, uh, you know, spell out there so you can hear what I'm actually saying, but AVR firmware versus DSP firmware. So the AVR firmware is for the hardware uh, or the computer inside your Mevo Plus, and the DSP firmware is for the sensor. So two different types of firmware. I just want everybody to understand how to update and what the difference is. Um, so the new version that just got released, um, and that would be, uh, I think it was yesterday, March 30th, um, which is 0.21 AVR. So uh, first, just to let's go through the update. While it's doing the update, I'll explain some things to you about what uh, the difference is. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna power on my Mevo Plus. I like having it plugged in anytime doing uh, an update like this. That way you have no concerns of power loss. Very important not to interrupt a firmware update. And that goes for pretty much any type of device you're working on. I have my iPhone ready here. I can open up the Wi-Fi. You'll hear that series of beeps coming up. There you go. So we know the Mevo Plus is now on and we should see it show up shortly here in the Wi-Fi. As long as my iPhone refreshes, I guess I can turn it on and off and force it to refresh. There it is. So now you can see it's connected to the flight scope. And now we can open up the FS Golf app. Once we open up the FS Golf app, it's going to prompt us and it's going to say there's new firmware available for your Mevo Plus. It contains necessary improvements for accurate results. And we're gonna go ahead and we're going to click the update button. I obviously have a full battery on my iPhone as well, so we're not worried about any interruption as far as that goes. You can hear the Mevo doing a series of beeps now. And it looks like it took the firmware update that fast. We can go into the settings and we can go into radar info. And when you're under radar info, you can see the AVR version is 0.21 and my DSP is still on 0.09, which is the beta that I'm running currently for FlightScope doing testing to work on improving putting. So. Let me take you through some information that I was provided real quick, um, not to try to have a boring video here staring at Amiibo Plus, but basically the changes to the AVR firmware, uh, the manual description for the four battery status indicators uh, that have the flashing yellow lights is misleading to users. Uh, obviously FlightScope understands that. The description in the manual is that it overheated or has a, a faulty battery. Um, so the battery status indicated that the battery is currently too hot or too cold to charge and not uh, that the system is too hot to operate. So the new AVR firmware should display the same uh, system state with different LED patterns. The update will indicate that external power is connected and used, but the battery is not charging. The battery can be too hot or cold to charge, or insufficient power is available to charge the battery by flashing one of the battery status indicator uh, lights yellow. The other battery status indicators will be blue or off depending on the level of the battery. So if the battery state is 75 to 100%, three of the battery LEDs will be blue and the fourth one will flash yellow. If the battery state is 50 to 74%, two of the battery LEDs will be blue and the third will flash yellow. If the battery state is 25 to 49%, one of the battery LEDs will be blue and the second one will flash yellow. If the battery state is zero to 24%, one of the battery LEDs will be flashing yellow. So just so you're aware of all of that, I figured I would do a quick update. I would show you how easy it is to update your firmware using an iPhone and the FS Golf app. Um, I do wanna say real quick, a few people uh, I think were a little confused with the FS Skills versus FS Golf. FS Golf was created for the iPhone. I'll tell you what I'll do. Let's just make sure while we have this powered on, I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect from my iPhone real quick. 
Um, I'll power up my computer and I'll power up my projector and we'll do a quick test. Make sure that the unit's operating properly after the firmware update. But FS Skills is for the iPad. So if you have an iPad, you should be using FS Skills. Uh, some people were trying to use FS Golf on an iPad and they were uh, not able to see the line for alignment. So it's very important that you use the proper app for what it was designed. So they've updated FS Skills to have that uh, line in it on the iPad so you can use it for alignment. And then if you're, uh, you should be using, I'm just gonna open up E6 Connect real quick. Uh, gonna need to connect to the, let's see here. Looks like we're already connected. So we should be good there. Okay. Let's just go to the practice mode. I don't, I don't want to get sidetracked when I was just explaining to everybody. I just don't want to drag on the video. But basically, uh, use FS Golf on an iPhone. Use FS Skills for an iPad. Um, it's pretty much as simple as that. I mean, that's what they were designed for. Um, I'm sure there'll be many releases to come. Let's just go ahead and grab a pitching wedge. We have our ball here with the metallic dot. Actually, that's my putting ball. So let's grab the one metallic dot. I'm looking back at my Mevo Plus right now. It has a green light, then it has a red light, and then it has three blue lights, which would be how charged my battery is. So I can already see the difference in the AVR firmware and the light colors. That way they're not misleading. Looks like the unit's reading really well and we're good to go. So uh, easy as that to update the firmware. Uh, a couple things. One, uh, please subscribe and like. I appreciate it. Um, comment below. Let me know if you have any questions, if you have any comments, um, suggestions, things along those lines. I like to try to keep everybody as up to date as possible as I beta test with FlightScope and obviously provide all kinds of different content with different software and uh, other devices. So uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate it and we'll talk to you soon.